Hey guys, welcome back to my Lakers My Gem. Today we're going to be starting off with sending our young guys to training camp. Now, we're only able to send three players to training camp without sending spending any VC. So that's what we do. We send Julius Randle, Jordan Clarkson, and George, uh, D'Angelo Russell. So those three guys are probably going to be the future of the Lakers organization, along with Kelly Oubre, who we did trade at draft night. So hopefully those three players get a little bit more developed and that process of their overall uh, improves this season in season two. But after that, we're immediately trying trades. On draft night, we said we did not want to keep Jared Dudley, and that is the fact. I like Jared Dudley. He's an average player, in my opinion. Loved him with the Bucks. Favorite player with the Bucks, but he is just not that 2K player. So we traded him along with some draft picks for a stretch four that we oh so desperately wanted in Ryan Anderson. So as of right now, our power forward position is looking nice. We got Julius Randle. Ryan Anderson, Mo Spates, Bismack Biombo, one of those guys may be traded, and for a fact, they are traded in this episode. Our next trade up is to get rid of some of the random players that we have on this team that are no longer really needed. So basically, a salary dump. We see the New Orleans Pelicans are willing to take these guys' contracts off our hands, so that's exactly what we do. We trade away Nick Young. Tarek Black and Doug McDermott to the New Orleans Pelicans for Norris Cole and a draft pick. If you guys know me, I love draft picks because I believe in trading. Draft picks are more valuable than expiring contracts and actual good guys with value. Especially in this upcoming draft, we're going to get guys like Ben Simmons, Brandon Ingram, a lot of the players that are going to be valuable in 2K. So that's why we're trading for draft picks. I know last year we traded for draft picks as well, and we were trying to get rid of them, and we just didn't know what to do with them on draft night. So just a few episodes ago, I did not know what to do with those draft picks. But ultimately, I think it's, it's going to work out because we got a lot of 2017. I think we have four or five at the end of this video. Now, last episode was Summer League, and we mentioned as well how much Ben McLemore was effective for this team. He dropped 18 points. I did check again. He was nice. He was a nice player to the summer league roster unfortunately he got picked up by the Cavs him and Alex Len both were picked up by the Cavs Andre Roberson was picked up by the Clippers and Ray McCallum was also picked up by another team now I want to go after Ben McLemore Ben McLemore is my top priority at shooting guard unless you guys can uh you know name another shooting guard that's willing to come off the bench and not complain about minutes um another shooting guard was Andre Roberson but he got picked up by the Clippers and because they were still in the free agency by summer league we can't trade for them for another 70 days so we're gonna have to simulate a month or play a few games before we're able to do a trade and that's why i said we'll probably not make another trade until trade deadline around that area because in this episode we do make a lot of trades and unfortunately ben mclemore was not one of those said trades because we really want him especially after the next trade that we do i know we just traded away for norris cole and signed Mo Spates, but we ended up trading both of those players for Frank Kaminsky and Bryce Cotton. So now our point guard depth is looking nice. Our big men are looking nice. And we get to keep the draft pick that we traded away for Norris Cole. This team's looking really nice. So at the end of the episode and at the start of the season, our lineup will be looking like Jordan Clarkson at point, then his backups, Jeremy Lin and Bryce Cotton, D'Angelo Russell at two, and his backup, I guess, would be Kelly Oubre, Kobe Bryant at small forward, his back would be Anthony Brown and Larry Nance. So those those young guys from the first season that didn't get any playing time, they're going to get a lot of playing time this season. And I don't know how I feel about that. Anthony Brown's nice, Larry Nance, he doesn't have a jump shot yet. So that's why we're trying to trade away a piece for Ben McLemore or a guy like Andre Roberson. At power forward, we have Julius Randle starting, then Ryan Anderson and Bismack Biyombo behind him. And at center, Joel Embiid and Frank Kaminsky behind him as well. So last year, our big men depth was not good at all. Now this year, it's amazing. But unfortunately, we kind of have a hole at the swing position at shooting guard and small forward. But hopefully, we'll be able to fill that up around trade deadline as well. And hopefully, uh, it doesn't make that big of an impact on simulated games or games we play this season. But other than that, this is the off-season task part two. The next episode will be opening night of season two. Luckily for us, Kobe's still with the Lakers. 
Now, I'm not sure this is his last year or not, but last year he said it was. It wasn't. If this year he says it is, I think I might believe him more. Just because he's, what, 39 in this game? On his 21st season in the second season? Um, unless Kobe stays for two more years, which I highly doubt considering he's signing a one-year contract still. Um, we're going we're gonna to try to get Kobe a sixth ring. I was kind of scared that we weren't able to the first season and he was going to retire but it looks like he's here for another season it looks like he wants that six ring and hopefully we get him that six ring before he retires because this team is definitely a playoff bound team anyways hope you guys enjoyed i'll talk to you guys later bye bye